Happy new moon, everybody. Happy Gemini new moon. Gemini is an air sign. It's quite heady, but it's also all about social connections, community, fun, breaking down old patterns of thinking. This is ruled by Mercury, which is our planet of communication. It is heady. So because of that heady energy, we've got four planets in Gemini at the moment. Jupiter being one of them, the great amplifier. Be mindful that you're not being swept away. Keep your feet firmly planted. Drink your cacao. Stay in your body. Stay grounded. Come from a place of wholeness in this time. In these beautiful chocolates for this evening, I am holding a new moon ceremony. So in my beautiful, rather messy chocolates, we have got lion's mane. Lion's mane, I believe, is perfect for Gemini season because it's a heady energy, as I say. So lion's mane brings stillness and peace in the mind, which allows productivity and focus and clarity. Clarity. Lots of clarity. And it does this by calming the nervous system, bringing you back into the parasympathetic so that all that peripheral noise, distraction, thinking goes away, allows you to come into your body and the focus come in. It's also known as the priest house mushroom. This is because back in the day and maybe still today, monks, Buddhist monks were famed for uh, using lion's mane to deepen their connections to the divine, to allow longer meditations, to invite more clarity and higher ascension. So lion's mane is the mushroom of the season at the moment. As I say, we've got four planets in Gemini, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and uh, our moon, of course. Venus, all about abundance, passion, money, love, connection, sexual desire. Don't get in your head about it. Come back to your body. As I say, drink your cacao, have lion's mane, come back to your body. But it's okay to sit there in conscious thought. You know, where does my abundance come from? What does that look like going forwards? Also, don't forget, we've got the Saturn, Saturn and Uranus alignment with Pisces still. Pisces, the infinite possibilities. The poet, the mystic, the magician, the witch, the shaman. It's, the, it's enlightenment, it is spirit, it is about divine connection, going back to source. Saturn is about rules and structure. It's very much in this realm, in this reality, 3D world. Uranus is there to give you a real reality check. So, do you know what? We still have that alignment. Use it. Use it. Dream your dreams into reality. Sit with that energy. What is it that you want? Is that the retreat? Growing your own food. Connecting with community. Stepping into uh, collaboration. This is the time. This is the time. You have the alignment to allow you to bring that dream into this reality, into this lifetime. But you've also got this beautiful Gemini social energy that helps us deepen our connections, get out there, collaborate with others. Those who are aligned with your dreams, this is the time to make that connection, to come together, to create beautiful ceremonies, events, to allow all of us to come together, to move together into this lighter, brighter, more conscious reality together, we are being asked to level up. Level up into a higher sense of consciousness, to invite in spirit, our inner compass, listening to your intuition. Your intuition, guys, comes from here. You've heard of my gut feeling, right? This is our primary brain. This is secondary to here. This is where those whispers of wisdom come from. This is going to tell you your truth. This is your inner truth, your guidance, and this connects to God, to the divine, whoever that might be for you. Listen to that. But in order to listen to that, you've got to be still enough to hear it, right? So this is where we have ritual. And this is why I hold ceremonies. I live life in ceremony, in prayer, making my offerings, but also asking for clarity, for guidance and uh, abundance, you know. You 
You don't ask if you don't get, <laughs> but also be mindful that you're offering as well, offering your service. When you make your decisions, excuse me, I call it weeding and seeding. When we decide to do something, I don't know, if I'm saying yes to something or if I'm creating something, I'm like, okay, well, who is it serving? Is it just me or is it a collective good? It's okay that you benefit from the situation. Absolutely. Your time, your energy, honour that. But is it serving the greater collective or is it just serving you? For me, if it's just serving me, I weed it, pull it out. No, it's no good. It's not gonna, it could be very short lived, but it, it, it's not, it's not for the greater good. And so therefore I don't feel it's sustainable. But sharing our medicines and our ceremonies, it's for the greater good. Yes, we want a an exchange within that. Of course, we've got lives. We're in this reality, in this lifetime, in this human experience. We've got mortgages to pay, cars to run, uh, bills to pay, things we want to do. They cost money and that is okay. You know, it's an exchange. But also, you're creating these spaces for others to step into their healing path. It's for the greater good. If we all rise together, we are creating a better world. We are the creators. Remember, you came from creation. You have all of that power within you. You are creation. Like really let that sink in. You are a creator. You create reality. You create worlds. You create experiences, lifetimes. You have traveled infinite lifetimes already. Know that you have that knowledge and that wisdom stored deep within your body. Sit in ritual, light a candle, say your prayers, connect. Because when we sit in gratitude and love, we connect to a greater intelligence, the intelligence that not only we hold within us, but what is the creation of the world in which we reside, yeah? So that's why prayer is so powerful. We are offering our love and we have to offer something for it to be received, you know? We have to give it out for it to come back. So I urge you this evening, if you're not in ceremony with me, create ceremony for yourself. Light the candle, sit with yourself, listen to the whispers that arise from within, it might be uncomfortable for you. Hold it, hold it in love, have that compassion and have that compassionate curiosity to want to inquire, to want to hear the whispers, whispers of wisdom. Um, write your intentions to the moon. What is it that you want from this lifetime? What is it you want to bring into reality, into the now? Visualize it, taste it, smell it, manifest it, yeah? Wishes to the moon, visualizations, manifestations, whatever that is to you, whatever resonates for you, ultimately it's the same thing. It is energy. We are infinite energy, guys. And uh, these are powerful notions because we are like frequency. The whole world is a frequency. Everything has its heartbeat and its rhythm. And in order to be able to invite and walk in the rhythm of love, we first have to step into it, right? It's like having a, an old radio, you know, when you twist the knob, it's like, and you can't quite get into that setting, but when you're in it, you can receive it, you can hear it, you can enjoy it, you're part of the conversation, yeah? It's the same thing. You have to <laughs> adjust yourself, tune yourself up, yeah, tune it up, tune up your heart, tune up your being so that you are in the rhythm of love, because then you're going to receive it, you're going to invite it all in. How can you invite something in if you don't know the, com you're not part of the conversation? So it's time to tune up, to level up. And we do this by inviting in love and tapping into that energy that we all hold within, that inner intelligence. You are made of the stars, yeah? You come from the stars and you have traveled infinite lifetimes. As I say, you have this wisdom within you. It is about remembering. It is about living your life with that rhythm and alignment. That comes down to the food we eat, the water we drink, the places we spend our time. People say, get out in nature. Get out in nature. That is the rhythm. That is our home. That's our heartbeat, you know? Ground yourself. Get your shoes off. Get your feet in the grass. Put your ass on the grass and say your prayers. <laughs> 
So yeah, tonight is all about setting your intentions so that we can in two weeks when we have the full moon, burn those intentions, invite action, release. You have to burn them to set them into that act active release in order for that to be heard, received, so that it can return back to you. And I hold uh, monthly gatherings, drumming circles on the beach. We share cacao, we share cups of tea, conversation, we laugh, we burn our intentions, we share the love. We, all people from all places, all stories are welcome. That is a free gathering. The private ceremonies are a paid event, but it is about deep healing work and connection and sharing. And you are guided through that process and held throughout with medicine. So tonight I have a full moon ceremony. In two weeks I have a full moon gathering on the beach with fire and with drums. Join us, join us. You're so welcome. Set your intention, sit in ritual. What is it you want to bring into this lifetime? Use this heady energy. Drop into your body. Get on the lion's mane, drink your cacao, and hear what your intelligence and your body is saying to you, and bring it into the now. Happy new moon, wishing you peace, love, and abundance, and a beautiful, beautiful evening. Have a beautiful, blessed day. So much love.